Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is King Mon. Yay. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to get into it, man. I want to talk today about dream killers, people who will kill your dream, people who um, are nosy, try to get in your business. So for those of you that don't know, I've been out of prison for less than six months. And so I created this channel, just documenting my transformation back into society and to try to like tell some of the stories about uh, that I dealt with in prison, um, just to share some light on the, on the prison system and share some light on uh, the mentality of those who are involved in a certain uh, certain type of lifestyle. So anyway, without further ado, man, welcome to my channel. Um, throughout this transformation, uh, re-entering into society, I remember first thing I remember when I was getting um, pre-release. So when I was getting pre-release, you know, I was talking to the counselor in prison and I was telling her some of my plans once I get released on the streets. And so one of the things I mentioned is that I wanted to uh, be an advocate for domestic violence uh, to bring awareness to the, to the community of, of domestic violence uh, Awareness meaning like let people know that it exists and let people know in what type of forms it exists. And basically my reasoning for doing it was strictly because I've, I've been a perpetrator of domestic violence for most of my life. Uh, pimping, uh, manipulating women, being a player, uh, just at an ultimate, ultimate level. And so for me, part of repairing the damage I've done was to get involved and, uh, so, but I remember when I mentioned something about domestic violence to her, to she immediately said, uh, "Do you know? Do you uh? Do you are you qualified for that? Do you know what you're doing?" And right there, that was the beginning of um, dealing with the attitude that I've been dealing with since I've been released from people who try to keep convicts or they try to keep. Uh, they would try to keep people prison, people who have been released from prison, or they try to keep you boxed in. They have an image of me. They have an image that um, I should be seeking cer certain type of services. They have an image that I should be seeking a job, looking to work. Uh, they have an image of me that whenever uh, I express my true self, my true desires to help people, or my true desires to start my own business, my true desire to succeed, and it excels their expectations, they automatically become offended. They become offended because I, I seen a sign that said it perfect. Uh, they let my confidence offend their insecurities. And because they, they feel like, you know what, I worked hard to get to the position I'm at. I worked hard. I had to go to college. I had to stay out of trouble. What makes you think that you can just go to prison, have fun, do all the things you want to do, manipulate women, and then just come here and come and try to be on an even playing field with me? This is the mentality that I encounter a lot. The, the mentality of what makes you think you have the right? You're a criminal. You're a prisoner. You just got out of prison. What makes you think you have a right? And so they don't say that, but it shows in their attitudes. Uh, that's so that's one of the type of people that I deal with. Uh people who just feel like you're not you're not qualified. And so anyway, I am out here uh bringing awareness to domestic violence regardless of what she said, regardless of uh, her ex, her want to ask me am I qualified? Yes, I'm qualified. I have what they call a shared experience, a lived experience. I lived it. I've done it. I don't just talk about something, you know. I I I, talk, I know the mentality. Okay, I wrote the book, literally, 101 Ways uh, to Keep a Woman Satisfied. It's one of my books that I have uh, that I'm working on publishing. But so this morning, I, I really want to dive into uh, the different type of people that I've been encountering. I've encountered a lot of people, uh, and a lot of those people I've encountered, uh, unfortunately, are involved in the black community. These people are people who want to be the voice of the black community or they want to be the expert in the black community in some field. So I run across people who will say are, uh, they are basically signing up for grants or they're signing up for, they're enrolling for grants. They're trying to 
And so I meet him at these different community events. And one of the things I notice uh, is they want to be the light in the room. You know, they want to be the black guy or the black woman uh, who has befriended the, the, the white community. They want to be the person who is there in the room speaking on behalf of the black people. They want to be the one um, to introduce these issues and solutions as though they're the only ones qualified, right? And, and I've noticed even amongst addicts, recovering addicts, they can be the most judgmental. You know, they'll be the most harsh critics against one another. You know, so somebody is, uh, say, recovering from drugs or something. They're recovering from drugs. Uh, the addict could be the one who, who, who will say something like, well, how long have you been clean? Well, you got to work the steps. You probably need to do the steps over and, you know, get, get real deep and dig with your honesty. What I'm saying is we're the only ones that pre present barriers. We're the only ones that, that are skeptic of each other. We're the only ones who uh, have a mentality of jealousy, envious, want to keep a brother down instead of helping him up. I met this lady, man, who I, who I was at an event, and I told her what you know some of my plans were as far as uh, I have a YouTube channel, you know, and I'm trying to bring awareness uh, to the community about mass incarceration, trying to detour people from making bad decisions, from going to prison. And, and I told her um, how I do music, how I aspire to do music, and how I just am a writer. And she, and, and she, what she did was belittle me. She said, oh, yeah, I used to do that. I did that 10 years ago. She said, oh, when, I, when she asked me, what am I, what do I do? I said, I'm an entrepreneur. And she said, and then her response was like, well, yeah, I'm a, I'm a real entrepreneur. I'm not just somebody that says it. I'm actually somebody who writes my own checks. What she was trying to do was belittle me, right? Trying to say like, oh, you're the fake entrepreneur. I'm the real one. And we got to stop doing this shit. We got to stop doing this shit to each other. And instead, try to lift people up. That lady right there tried to kill my dreams. She told me how, yeah, I used to do journalism. She made me feel as though everything that I'm working on now was things that she already tried and done 10 or 20 years ago and that she's on bigger and the better things. She made me feel like the route I was taking was just a general black route. Every black person done thought about that. Every black person done attempted that and I'm nothing different. She made me feel like I should quit or that I should do something different. We have people who do this and they are the general dream killers. They do this with the intentions to detour you from going your route and they do this with the, with the, with the sole purpose. Uh, they want to be the only one shining in the room. I didn't let her detour me, you know. I had another incident. I had a guy call me on the phone um, who it's somebody that I know, but I can't say we're friends in the sense that he doesn't know my kids. He doesn't know my kid's name. We're not friends, you know, but he called me with some general questions to ask me, what am I doing in my life? What are, how, how is the progress going for me reentering back into society? He called me asking questions, trying to pry into my life, not because he generally cared, but because he was trying, in my opinion, to kill my dream. Try, everything that I told him that I was doing, he pointed out why it was a stupid idea and why it wasn't going to work and how it's 2022 and how all of my ideas and plans are outdated. I'm on here to this morning to say that watch out for those type of people, man. Keep your dreams sacred. Keep your dreams your and your goals around those who uh, are dreamers as well. For those who's just getting out of prison, for those who are is trying to change your life, for those who have an idea and everybody around you is telling you it's a dumb idea or something like that, just know that uh, there it may be a dumb idea or it may be outdated. But you got to start somewhere. You got to give it all your all and put your all into it because if you don't, you will waste this moment. You got to do it for yourself to, to if, if nothing else, just to get the ball rolling. 
And so there's some people who don't understand that. They're so far, they got so they they got their head so far up their ass, they forgot, they don't know what time of the day it is, you know. All they do is uh try to kill people's dreams. And they don't do it intentionally, they're just conceited bastards. Uh and I wanted to talk about that this morning. I wanted to talk about the different type of people that I've been encountering. And, and sadly, most of them are black people. Sadly, most of them want to want to look at me and feel like I'm just a nigga. You ain't doing nothing special. You know, that's the impression they give me. But I don't need nobody's validation. I'm, a t and I'm talking to these people right now. I'm talking to the entrepreneurs. I'm talking to the business managers. I'm talking to the grant to the ones who just want a grant. I'm talking to those who went to college and it just happened to run across my page right now. I'm talking to you for a minute because don't get beside yourself and, and be fooled that you're succeeding and your success has everything to do with your hard work or your brilliance. Don't get too blinded that you forget the process, the budding process, the starting process, the thinking process, the creating process where you have to think this thing out, you have to create it, then you have to remain consistent. Don't get so beside yourself that you start stepping on people around you because they don't measure up to your expectations. Everybody has something to offer. Okay? Whether you see the value in it or not, uh, be careful of the things you say to cause others to be detoured or cause others' dreams to be killed. Whether you do it intentionally or not, be careful. Because if that person stops dreaming, if that person stops being positive, if that person stops wanting to help, they may just flip to the other side and go back to everything they know. And the first head they rip off might be yours. The first person they jack might be you. The first house they hit. And so it gets deep. Encourage those who are trying to make a change. Instead of looking at people and saying, why are you being so fake? Why are you talking about that all of a sudden? All of a sudden, niggas want to change. All of a sudden, niggas want to do that. Encourage that change. Because if he was to be detoured and gave up and quit, if he quits, the whole community suffers. If I give up and forsake my dreams, my family, my friends, my community suffer. Because my actions don't just affect me, my actions affect everyone. And on the flip side, if I continue to press toward on my dreams, the little successes bring light and hope to the community. Those who are just like me, those who look like me, those who think like me, can know that they too can make a change and they too can do it. And so this whole process is a challenge. And those who, who listen, who look, instead of being so critical, I mean, so, so you know, want to be so quick to criticize and tear a brother down, reach out a hand and get involved and, and uh, assist. But regardless of you assisting or not, man, I am King Manye and I will succeed because I believe I will. You know, I was sitting here to inspire those who are great and sometimes tend to forget it. You don't know what God's got planned. Be careful of those you step on. Be careful of those you speak on. Lest you run across them later on on the journey. Because the same, the same people you step on on the way to the top are the same people that you're going to walk by while they're on their path to the top. And you may just need them and vice versa. So be good to everybody. Respect everybody. Uh, to them dream killers, man. To them dream killers. Your, your way is not the only way. Your mind is not the only brilliant mind. I ran across that on YouTube. You know. And so it's a difference between just being business savvy and just, you know, keeping it strictly business. And, and, and it's a difference between having some, some pride. You could have pride. And I know everybody don't want to be humble to the point where they have to kiss somebody's ass. But you need to be humble. And there's some and, and there's there's an old saying that. Pride comes before the fall. So whenever you become too proud, boastful in your intelligence or your talents, like as though you made it, looking down upon people, talking down upon people like they're just some sinners, like they don't get it because they continue to want to smoke weed. They just don't get it. You, you've lost sight of the struggle. And pride comes before the fall. And I don't wish that upon nobody. But what I'm saying is 
I'm encouraging everybody right now to keep dreaming. Even if I don't agree with your route, even if I don't agree with your, uh, your talent, I don't agree. I don't understand it. If it's toward advancing society, I'm with it. I say you keep doing it because help maybe later on we can all come together and maybe, you know what I'm saying, we can uh, collaborate. But right now, just because we don't understand each other, if somebody's working toward a common good, you enjoy what, enjoying what is good, you know what I'm saying? And, and my way of it personally enjoying something is just encouraging and saying, do your thing. I see you shining. Good job, you know, because I don't want to knock nobody off. I don't want to detour nobody from trying and striving to do better because if that person quits remember this if that person quits gives up or fails you may be the first person they decide to come after you may be the per first person that they, they decide to come rob yeah it gets deep so be careful man hey i'm king man yeah i'm the leader and the captain of my destiny i was sent here to inspire those who are great and sometimes tend to forget it i want you guys to love yourself love yourself and love yourself